hi everyone and welcome to a new video and today's I guess it's gonna be Fisher me as and as you can see I got the skin it took me a dungeon and a half to get it but I got it the skin that supposedly Fish has when she traveled to the Honkai universe that's my head can okay for now she's gonna be called Rita and yeah let's continue with the song to believe but no nothing's happened you're awake then let's bring you up to speed we searched everywhere and found nothing unusual at all based on the previous two mirages we should have been able to find something that acts as an entrance is it possible that the time has not come yet? You mean we should wait a little longer? Yes. Plus, Fischl is still nowhere to be found, and I highly suspect that she's even more eager to find the entrance than we are. So, let's wait. Let's give the Mirage... No. Give Fischl some more time. book and next to it is hmm a raven statue this statue looks a lot like oz why did these two items appear together did the raven bring the book here what's the book about is it a diary let's see hymn of the holy land i have never heard of a book by that title from the cover it looks like it was written by Fischl herself? That would certainly fit her personality. Hymn of the Holy Land. Interesting. I like it. As a title, it has a sacred ring to it. So, what should we do? Should we touch it? Fischl's still not back. Never mind. Let's head inside first. Once Fischl finds the book, I'm sure she'll be able to catch up with us. Paimon agrees! It's like we're peeping into her diary, so Paimon sure she'll want to come in and stop us. Though this truth has long faded from popular memory, scholars have long known that Prinzessin Fischl von Luftschloss Norfedort first descended upon the world during the time of chaos, roughly 600 years before the era of the saints. What? A narrator? Yeah, well, how we about really to say that? Inside a book, huh? There's even a narrator telling us the story. Oh no! The path has been cut off! We can't go across! Oh, there's a device over there that appears to be waiting for us to approach it. Is it just time? Or does everything in this place seem just a little bit over-deliberate? Well, it oh, is boy, the what? Holy Land. What did you expect? Yeah, everything's so blatant. It's clearly begging to be noticed. That's our official for you. The Princessin harbored much sympathy for all living things and wished to never see them in pain. She harnessed the power of darkness and dreams to weave the night and gave it the task to safeguard all living things. The people celebrated and worshipped the Princessin's authority and followed her call to migrate to the sacred land 
that would eventually be known as the Immer Nachtreich. It really is the Immer Nachtreich. Hmm, it really looks the part. I'm quite impressed. Well, this is very medieval, I can see. Okay, then. Let's see what you have. We established a nation on the Holy Land, revered the Princessin as the Absolute One, and introduced poetry, theater, and adventure to the kingdom, laying the groundwork for the Immer Nachtreich. Damn. Swift and merciful! When the rain finally ceased, the princessin descended from the palace steps as to allow all her retainers to behold her unparalleled glory. <laughs> I, know, I kinda wish they actually plays this with the what is called the knight from the child. By royal I'll protect us. One with my blade. Submit for judgment. <laughs> You see this ball? What is with this ball? Because let the show okay, begin. Need to activate this. Four. Now you do. Someone, please help me! Uh, isn't this a statue? Please don't refer to me like that. My name is Leon, and I am a knight of the Immernoctrag. A knight? But you don't look like one. You can't tell. Anyway, please don't speak ill of Sire Osvaldo. He personally designed and distributed the armor for Dinoctraben Ritter. You must have heard that one before, surely? That was his full name, Osvaldo Hofnavines. Uh, oh, so Magistus was the easy pronunciation. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> or so it seems. Dear friends, 
I apologize for interrupting your lovely conversation, but I believe you haven't been informed that the gate ahead has been locked. Yep, that's news to us. I'm hoping you'll be kind enough to save me, and in exchange, I'll gladly teach you how to unlock the gate. Well, I guess we'll have to save you then. Valiant heroes. No words can express how grateful I feel right now. Thank you very much. Remember, this is the password that unlocks the gate. May my people be freed from the shackles of ancient decrees. The great secretaire, the lords, and the devoted Nachtraben Ritter mounted the tower to pledge their allegiance to the princessin, kissing the hem of her exquisite purple dress and taking pride in their loyalty. Oh, come on! Ah. My net cut up. Never mind that. I pay. I'm in the places that I just uh, arrived for the class. Huh. Okay, I have to give them that. I think the dollar resurrection is kind of the safe point in case of stuff like that. Thank you, Hoyobas, for this. Yeah, I think this is uh, where I guess. Looks like it's a dead end ahead. There's only a book! Do you think what we just heard is the story from the book? So the Holy Land in the book's title refers to the Immanachreich. This book sings the praises of the princessin from the perspective of the people in her kingdom. We're on the last page of the book, but the story doesn't seem to have ended. What happens next? Paimon wants to know what happens next! I guess we'll have to keep exploring. As for this book... Wait... I have an idea. Now that we've finished it, let's close it. Huh? We've been transported again, but we're not back on the beach. We are somewhere in... Mondstadt. Greetings, Honorable Kaiserin Dover Ertelung. Amy, dear, I've made steak and fisherman's toast. Come on, eat up before they go cold. Oh my god, he's a piece of Now I ask, we actually know her name. You can kind of discover her name in one of the promotions, I think. Although I think it was only in the Japanese version, so. But yeah, now we know her name officially. Mother. Oh, look at me being so forgetful. Ahem. <clears throat> Dost thou knowest, Princess in Verrutalang? that the hour of luncheon encroaches. Of course, Mother. Ah, behold the view from the window, a delight to the senses. Princessin, Kaiserin, would you care to join the Kaiser Derva Utailang for a grand royal picnic? We shall enjoy the scenic view and partake of the delicacies granted to us by the heavens. 
Wait, is that the map or the Samurai of a Style map? I actually have to look at this later, but I'm surprised if her parents actually play along. Or do I bet for not long? Yes, I shall gladly join you. Uh, uh, oh. Uh, does anyone want to say anything about that? Okay, I'll bet. So, Amy, that's Fischl's real name? Seems like it. The other two voices were probably her mom and dad. Why are you all giving me that look? Forgive me if this comes across as rude, but... Is your surname truly Magistus? Huh, you think I was bluffing? My full title is and always has been Mona Magistus the Astrologist. Oh, my apologies. Don't you think that's a bit long? Well, it's a special case. Only geniuses get titles like this. Well, that makes no sense. What are your thoughts on the scenes we just witnessed? Well, it seems that closing the book is one way of affecting change in this mirage. Well, I think it's sweet that Fischl's parents are willing to play along with her. Well, they probably didn't indulge her forever. Based on the voice, this was surely a memory from her childhood. It's a different story now she's grown up. You know a lot about Fischl, Mona. After all, we've been friends for quite a while. Speaking of, I wonder where Fischl is now. That voice mentioned that she was heading out. We may as well go outside and see if we can find anything. So this is it. Uh... Oh. Okay, let me a little close. Hmm. Are those supposed to be like constellation? Okay, who has the balance? Let me check. I think that was me. That's me one. No, I was wrong. Who could have the balance? Who, who, who? I have no idea. Maybe some theater character is gonna discover this. Oh! We're back! Wait! Why are we back? We haven't finished the story yet! This feels as awful as purchasing a counterfeit astrology tutorial or realizing you've forgotten your wallet in the middle of dinner! Uh, uh, this is torture! I think they're a little bit upset. To be honest, I also don't like to read books that end on an unexpected cliffhanger. <laughs> no one likes that. <laughs> All right, let's enter the mirage again. Good idea! Let's go! Huh? We're still here. It's not working. That's odd. We were able to enter earlier, but now we can't. Why? Why are we being denied the opportunity to finish the book? This is pure sadism. Final <laughs> Fantasy VII. Maybe it's because we've already reached the end of this book. Before leaving the Mirage, we saw that the book had been flipped to the final page. I believe Hymn of the Holy Land is divided into multiple volumes. It's like one of those sneaky light novel marketing schemes. If you want to know what happens next, please buy the next volume. Blech. Hey man, for once, we think alike. And yeah, I just started in Final Fantasy VII Remake. That thing is torture. And horrible. Oh, I have to see the ending. Oh, oh, y yes, the ending. Everyone wants to know how the book ends. Huh? Who's there? Oh, oh, she, heavens above, she saw me. Stand up straight, stand up straight. You're... I'm Ask Me For Directions Arnold. That name's a little on 
the nose. So, Arnold, let me ask you something. It's ask me for directions, Arnold. So, ask me for directions, Arnold. Let me ask you something. Yes, ma'am. Are there other volumes of Hymn of the Holy Land? Where can I find them? Oh, ho, ho. you're asking the right person. Hymn of the Holy Land is the sacred scripture of the Immernach Reich. There are three volumes in total, with the other two stored in two high locations in the castle. If you wish to find the second volume, you must climb to the very top floor of the tower. Tower? You mean that tower over there? That is, indeed, the tower where the sacred scripture is stored. If you look closely to the cave right over there, you'll find a secret passage that will swiftly take you to the tower. Okay. Thank you, Arnold. It's ask me for directions, Arnold. Do you have any other questions for me, fair maiden? Concerning, perhaps, my relationship status or monthly income? No. Goodbye. Let's ignore that, Raven, and proceed. There's a secret passage in the cave ahead that leads directly to the top of the tower. Oh, oh, but, ma'am, are you sure you're not interested in me? I only shared with you the secrets of the Immernachreich because of your great beauty. Ma'am, wait. Okay, this was kind of an odd scene. Why did the lady appear so irritated? Did I say something inappropriate? Oh, what must I do to win her heart? Hey, stop! Who are you? You don't look like citizens of the Immanacht Reich. Explain yourselves. What's your purpose here? Wait a minute, I know that way. Is that the Seymour? Again? This place even comes with guards! Uh, what are you doing? How can you prove that you are Her Highness's retainers? Such an absurd question betrays your ignorance. May my people be freed from the shackles of ancient decrees. The, that's the password of the Immanacht Reich. They really are Her Highness's retainers. Oh my goodness, we didn't know. Please forgive us. Now step down! Yes, we're leaving now. This is the second volume of Hymn of the Holy Land. Everyone ready? Bring it on! Okay, now before that, I want to say, I better see Simon as a character in Fontaine or something like that. As a player, well, as a playable character, not an NPC, because I don't know why. I can see him as a Fontaine character. Okay, volume two. The Rebirth. And yeah, I'm gonna stop on the remake because that really sours my taste on Final Fantasy in general. <laughs> 